Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a very quick what's new this week video and let me just start here. About four or five weeks ago I showed you a couple of things that I picked up from Myel Organics. I can already tell you to date that my favorite thing of what I've tried thus far and I can't really put the Babasu conditioner in it because I really haven't uh, put that one fully to the test yet but of the things that I, I really have been using from her line I am most in love with the edge control and I had shown you that about four or five weeks ago here's where I am right now and the reason why this is impressive and I can't say that I have and there's just a little bit left in there which you can barely see on camera just a little smidgen right there um the reason I mentioned the time period is because I feel like this edge control has taken me um, the longest period of time to use. So again, I brought this to you about five weeks ago or so. I've been using it daily consistently from that time. So keeping that in mind for one jar to cost $12.99 she sells this at and to have lasted me for about five weeks um, and plus there's a little more still in here. I think that's really good. Now. It's four ounces that you're getting. I really do think this helps your edges lay down. I had spoken about that in another video, which I can link below or up here or what, wherever. But what I'm saying is I have since reordered this. I say all that to say I've reordered. Um, and this does not mean that this has replaced um, the affection that I have in my heart for the Frizz Free Curls uh, Blueberry Pomade. Really, really like that. And that also is four ounces. And I can get that on the ground at Target, which, by the way, um, Myel Organics can be found in select Sally stores now as well. But anyway, um, I can get to Target a little easier than I can um, a Sally's that has Myel Organics in New York. So anyway... Um, I'm not putting the blueberry pomade down at all. I like it, still like it, smells delicious, still works really well in my book. I actually went to Target when I saw this was running out to get a new batch of the blueberry, but it was um, all out of stock, so I needed to re-up. I ended up getting this. I'll talk to you about this in a second. But anyway, um, they didn't have it in stock. And I looked online and Freeze Free Curl sells that blueberry pomade for about 12 bucks. And this is $12.99. They're both at four ounces. So it's kind of like, what am I going to do? Should I order from this one or from that one? What it really came down to is... I don't know that the Frizz Free Curls one, even though it's four ounces, that it lasted me as long. I feel like, and I really need to do a real test to bring you some accurate numbers, but just in thinking of how many times or how many jars I've been through of the blueberry pomade, which I still adore, um, I feel like I went through it faster because perhaps it's not as um, strong a hold or... Uh, it, it, I feel like this one goes a bit farther than the blueberry pomade. Even though they're both four ounces, I feel like I can use less of this one than the blueberry pomade. Um, and again, this is just me trying to recall the facts of how many jars I've been through and how quickly I would run through them. I don't know that a jar of the pomade, the blueberry one, has lasted me five weeks. And maybe it has. Um, but... Yeah, anyway, I ordered more of the Mayel. That's not to say I wouldn't get the blueberry again. I absolutely would. Had it been in Target that day, I would have stocked up on that. So I like them both equally. Consider this kind of my edge control best of because I really have not found edge controls that are better than the Mayel Organics Flexible Hold, right? Um, or the Frizz Free Curls Blueberry uh, Pomade, which I don't have any right now because it's all finished. So yeah. Get, get this. I would recommend that. I picked this up from Target. Um, absolutely horrible. It says, and horrible in the sense that it doesn't hold down. It holds your hair down for the first two seconds. And it says, perfect for sleek, smooth styles and ponytails. You're right. Um, and it says, extra hold edge stay gel. No. So what it does is... Um, it does stay down. And let's do this right now. Let's do this on camera, okay? And we'll see where it is by the end of the video. So, um, okay, that looks white and gross. Um, <laughs> my hair is completely clean, promise ya. Uh, that is actually product. I have this problem. I guess I don't really rub it in so well. And then... It embarrasses me. Okay, so anyway, right now you can see that I have this edge control gel from Cantu, which smells nice, by the way. It smells like a lot of the other kind of fruity-ish Cantu products, right? So similar scent. Um, okay, maybe I can do this side too. Okay, so see, it's holding it down initially. And by the end of the video, not even, 
probably even before we get to the end of the video, video um, you will see that it just pulls up because it like breaks down to an oil. Um, so anyway, that's that. I did a new style. Maybe I'll do another video on that uh, in a second. Just how I plan on protecting my hair over time. So see, initially it gives me, look at that hold. Boom, right? Boom. It gives me holes. Wait till we check on by the end of the video. And it's kind of not fair because um, I already have the Myel Organics underneath it. So I don't know how that will perform. But if you want its own video, um, sorry. If you want it, its own video on this product and checking the performance or review just a blog post or something, do let me know and I will get that out for you. Okay, next thing up. Um, so yeah, this breaks down to oil. doesn't really work as an edge control for me. Anyway, next thing up I got from Origins and this only costs 8 bucks. I love that they sell these. These are individual packets. It usually comes in four. I already ripped one off. Um four pack of their one of their masks so if you don't want to spend the full you know price for the full size of their mask you can always get the four pod one and then you get yes only four uses of it but it's also only eight bucks so that's not bad at all I'm trying the ginseng mask now ginseng z-i-n-g as you can see there mask that's supposed to revive your skin and all that stuff I love masks it's not here yet but I did order another thing from origins it's a masketizer. Is that what they call it? Masketizer. If you are a fan of masks, as I am, you basically spray, it essentially is like a primer for masks. Of course, they're going to market it so that you use it with Argin masks, but it's really for any mask at all. It's supposed to increase the performance. Whatever that mask is supposed to do, that primer is supposed to bring it to the next level. So I ordered it. It didn't arrive yet. I cannot wait to try it and see if it really works because I have so many masks, whether from Origins or, you know, just other brands, the Sephora mask, Glam uh, Glam Glow mask, a bunch of masks, Estee Lauder mask. There's one that I showed in a haul, an Estee Lauder mask. I actually need to come back and tell you about that one because I actually love that mask. But anyway, um, so now I'm going to get to use the primer and see if it really heightens, you know, or brings out more benefits of that particular mask, uh, whichever one I use after using the primer. So I'm really excited about that new product from Origins. But uh, yeah, just, this is the Jin Zing mask that revitalizes. That's, this is just a, what's new this week. So I'm just kind of fly through these. Oh, I'll do this one next. I did get this from e.l.f. <laughs> this is a mattifying spray. Okay, so it says matte magic, mist, and set. It's basically a spray that after you're done with your makeup, you spray it on. It's supposed to help mattify your skin, reduce the appearance of shine. They want you to spray it on your face about 12 to 16 inches from your face. And once the liquid or the spray hits your face, they want you to either blot it off with a tissue or just let it naturally dry. I've tried both methods. Uh, and this costs three bucks, by the way. Okay, so with method number one, actually letting it just air dry, that's what I did the very first time that I put it on. And it's like it never dried down. It left me looking shiny, shinier than I would have looked because it like had this product stick, you know, just sitting on top of my face. So I do want to try that again because maybe I wasn't exactly 16 inches away. I, I don't know, but it just felt like it stayed there. Then, boom, another time I moved on to the next method of blotting it off with a tissue. I did not use a blotting tissue. I used an actual tissue. But of course, because it was wet because of this product, I don't I didn't want it to lift off the makeup, so I just dabbed gently, and it still lifted off the makeup. So that's why I consider that process a fail, because it really did take off more makeup than I intended for it to remove. I knew some would obviously come off, but now I'm going to try that again with blotting tissue, and I can certainly report back if you're interested and let you know how this $3 matting spray works. So far, um, I'm not impressed and would not get, get it again, but again, it could be based on the ways in which I've used it thus far. Next foundation, this is not a what's new this week, because I reviewed this uh, maybe I shouldn't say I reviewed it, but I hauled it a long time ago, back before they reformulated this and came out with new shades, but Black Up Cosmetics, you know, I've been rolling with them for quite some time. I really do like Black Up, but they're available now through Sephora. Um, this is the mattifying uh, foundation that they have, and what I was going to say about this is that they have lots of new shades, because when I purchased this one, which is not a great match for me, they only had about four or five shades and I ended up with this one but it's not a perfect match in order to make this work I have to combine it with the cover fx drops and I'm in the shade 110 so that's how I get to finish up this bottle but I was in a Sephora store the one in Brooklyn that actually has black up cosmetics in store and when I swatched some of their 
And when I swatch some of their new uh, shades for the mattifying line, I see one that would definitely be a match for me. So um, this is a line that you may want to check out. If not the mattifying one, the full uh, face foundation one is really good from that line. Uh, I'm interested in trying the new formula of this mattifying one because this one I thought was fine. Like it, it was cool. Um, but again, the shade thing was off. So I'm eager to buy another stick of that. The rest of this is all like a lipstick stuff and stuff I'm going to swatch. I'll start with this one because I'm wearing it. Rooch from the ColourPop collection. This is from the Karuchi uh, line. Karuchi Tran came out with a line. Is her last name Tran? Did I just make that up? I don't know. But Karuchi came out with a line of lip colors through... Um, color pop and this is Rooch that I have on my lips right now I'll just go across like this and it's it may not show up well on camera but when it dries it has this and I've had this on my lips for some time so let's see if we can see it oh that's cracking ignore that um, but it has this like little golden undertone or thread that sometimes appears and the fact that it has that reminds me of Vampira from Kat Von D that lipstick um liquid lipstick because that also is like a deep shade but then it has this like golden undertone that runs through it and is visible when it dries so I find the same thing with Rooch though they are not dupes um that one is not a dupe for this one this one's not a dupe for Vampira um, they could be cousins, but they're definitely not um, identical. And I think I have, I posted, yeah, I did post a swatch of both of them on my hand on Instagram. So you can follow me there and check that out. The other thing that I just want to say about this is, which was my concern before purchasing it, I wanted to know if this was a dupe for Avenue, which I already have from ColourPops. It is not. If you want to see a swatch of that, just let me know and I can pop that on Instagram. So that's Rooch, which I already have on my lips. And I also got K, so Karooch. I got the two. Um, and as the other one is drying, you'll see the color. And this is... K right here and let me just show you so you can see the boom and I got K because or K yeah I got that one because I was interested in finding a shade that is a dupe for truffle rain from colored rains collection because I feel like it's always sold out and it is sold in some Ricky stores in New York but the ones that I've been to uh, they never seem to have it um so yeah and it's always sold out online so I've been looking for dupes though in the new ColourPop Ultra Satin Collection which I've already placed my order hopefully that comes soon I think Tansy may be close to that so we'll see once I get that I'm excited about the Ultra Satin Collection and then I'm not buying any more lipsticks for a good long time I'm just going to pause and then put this on the lips and then you'll be able to see what this looks like on the lips I'll take off Rooch and put on Cut or K. I did though just want to mention that of all the ColourPop Ultra mattes that I have and I have a good number of them to me and if you guys have this let me know Rooch is the most drying one that I've ever experienced. It stays on <laughs> real, really well it's just I found it to be pretty drying. Anyway I'm gonna put on K Let me just zoom in a little so you can see better. And then I'll, of course, come back so you can see how it has dried. So see, from this stage, it kind of looks like, oh, this could be a dupe for truffle rain. But you'll see, at least on my lips, how it dries down to a darker shade. See how it looks on my hand? Oh, and maybe you can see here in Rooch the part that has dried. Ignore my dry hand. Okay, see how it looks like wine but with that like goldeny kind of undertone shade? The Impura does the same thing just to a greater degree. But yeah, I can see it. <laughs> and someone else mentioned that to me too, Simone. Hey Simone, if you're watching. So she mentioned that as well. She noticed that. So yeah, anyway, this is K. This one is drying on my lips. And I'm going to show you, just as that's drying, a couple of other lip colors that are coming up. The, well, I can talk about this <laughs> in the meantime. 
<laughs> this is from Maybelline. This is their uh, from their Vivid Matte Liquid uh, Collection. I got the Raspberry Shade, which is number 40. Oh, wow. This print is called uh, Berry Boost. Berry Boost. This is from their new collection. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte uh, Liquid Lipstick. Let me say this. This is the color number 40 in Berry Boost. If you like the color and you want to buy it just because you like the color, perfect. That's fine. However, don't buy this expecting it to dry down to a matte as this one K from ColourPop just did. See, now it does. No, because Truffle Rain is... um. This is deeper. Truffle Rain is a lighter, at least the way it appears online, um, is a lighter shade of this brown, more poo-poo brown. <laughs> Sorry, that was gross, I know. But anyway, um, this one is definitely deeper. But yeah, mm, yep, it, it's good stuff. Regular color pop, good stuff that you would expect. This, on the other hand, horrible. It never dries down to a matte finish. You could wear this all day, every day. The shade itself is pretty. Okay, so that's a nice little shade. Oh, I'm going to, oh, okay, but anyway, sorry. I get distracted. Um, so, yeah, the shade is nice, but it never, ever, ever dries down. Um, it, instead of being matte, it has a glossy finish. You touch something, it will immediately come off, does not dry down. The most that will happen is if you've been wearing it for, let's say, a, a good while, um... And of course, as I said, it never dries down. And then you wipe it off, you may have a little stain left behind, but it is not like the full lip color is there. Um, and the application is not awesome either. Uh, slight patchiness, which you can correct easily with this, as is the case with many other liquid lipsticks. So I'm not saying that's the worst thing ever. I'm just saying I'm more upset that it's not a matte at all. Um, and you'll see it on my hand through this whole video. It's staying, it's going to stay just that glossy as it looks right now. I guess I'll put that on maybe last because it'll be easy to wipe right off. Um, so yeah, this is K from ColourPop. Ooh, I am distracted. <laughs> okay, so here we go. K. Let's see how it looks darker on my lips than it does in the tube. But anyway, so I'll take this one off and put the next one on. Okay, next up from the NYX lingerie line, Teddy is the shade that I picked up. I wanted Teddy and something that starts with a B. Um, it was called like a something, I don't remember, bare skin, whatever. I, I don't know. I'll write it up here. But um, that was sold out, so I was only able to get Teddy at the time. Yes, it's a liquid lipstick. Yes, it stays on uh, your lips. The only thing I don't really like about this one, oops, let me do a better swatch than that, sorry. The only thing I really don't like about this, the color is nice, um, is that it feels like it's cement drying on your lips. So I'm going to put this on. It dries pretty quickly, so you need to work pretty quickly to make sure that it actually... Um, is applied properly and you're gonna see a slight resemblance uh, to um, Soul by Colored Rain and all of those kind of brownie slash gray colored uh, lipsticks so has a similar undertone once it's dry bottom lip I can uh, see I can feel it drying that's one thing that annoys me uh, it goes on really whipped and moussey so it feels great going on, but once it starts drying, it starts drying, um, which I can already feel it's drying right now. So this is the shade Teddy. And I'll come back when it's like fully dry just so you can see what it actually looks like in the lips. But yeah, this formula, I just don't like how hard it dries on the lips. It, if it could have stayed, well, I guess if it stayed in that whipped moussey formula, then it, they wouldn't be able to get it to stay on your lips, I guess. I don't know, but um, yeah, it, it could feel, a, it could feel, I was going to show you something. It could feel a bit more comfortable on the lips. That would make this line, or at least this one that I picked up, uh, pretty good in my book. But with this type of drying, it feeling so dry, um, I don't think that I would pick up anything else from the lingerie line unless they were to reformulate it. So anyway, yeah, it's dry slight tackiness but it's very very slight it's really minimal but yeah there we go teddy there we go and you see it's kind of in the family of soul so it's here on my hand and here it is on my lips 
Mm. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say, I'm, the final things that I'm going to swatch for you are from NYX as well. Um, the suede. I was finally able, these are available in Target now. I was finally able to get my hands on the suede collection. The, well, not the collection. The only two I had ever really been interested in were like um, this one, Cherry Skies, and also Sandstone. But I'm no longer interested in Sandstone. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I think it's going to be too light for my skin tone. Um, but I was able to pick up Cherry Skies, which I think is a very nice color. And this collection came out before the lingerie line. And I feel like they regressed by putting out this formula because this one does dry down to a matte. And I'm going to show you something when I swatch it. But um, I feel the formula is way more comfortable than the lingerie line. So I'm not sure why they did this first and then moved over to this. Yeah, I don't know. That was interesting to me. But anyway, so I'm going to put Cherry Skies on the hand first, and then I will put it on the lips for you. That's a huge swatch. My swatches are rarely consistent, but this one is really creamy, and it dries in a comfortable way. So that's Cherry Skies, and I'm just going to take a second and apply it on camera. I'll take this off first. Now I'm just going to zoom in to apply Cherry Skies. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with this one when I say it's a little interesting. You know, my on-screen swatches are never clean. Sorry about that. I just want you to see what the color looks like. And I'm swatching through the viewfinder, so. Okay, so as this dries, see, and that's the color. And I didn't dip the wand back in, did I? Right. I don't think I did. But anyway, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the color on me, Cherry Skies. Okay, this is it here. And I'm going to show you because at first when I put it on, I said, oh, this doesn't dry down. But it does. It looks like it has this glossy layer that's still on your lips. But um, after it dries, and I'll show you. Um, you press your lips together and the glossiness immediately goes away and it's just this matte look to it. And I did drink a bottle of water and remember I don't use a straw, right? So I was able to drink a bottle of water and still I had the product on my mouth. Um, it's actually really nice. It has good staying power. So I do like the vintage collection. I just wish they had more colors that I actually like. I don't know what it is about NYX whenever I see their swatches online, but I feel like when I get it, it's rarely ever uh, as close <laughs> to the picture as I need it to be. So um, anyway, I usually end up just seeing if someone posted a picture online or swatched it because there's just something with those NYX swatches uh, online. Anyway, I can feel like it's drying, but again, it doesn't feel like cement like the um, uh, lingerie line. So I'm going to zoom in and show you what I mean. See how this still looks? glossy right it doesn't look like a matte at all well even though it's the suede collection but watch this as soon as I press my lips together okay just go ahead and make me a liar but um it's totally not doing it but uh maybe I need to have it on a little longer so I'm gonna take a pause for the cause and then come back when it's like dry 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 and then I'll show you what I'm talking about all right be back Okay, this is weird. I went and looked in the mirror and it actually looks drier than it appeared on camera. So let me, um, see it's still looking like it's giving shine, but in person, it really doesn't look that way. But anyway, so, the, um, it just goes down to like a drier looking formula. But let me show you. I'm just going to see my hand is clean. Watch this. And I had already kissed the back. And look at this. I'm going to zoom in. Oops. So I still have a decent, and that's two kisses, right? I still have a decent amount of product, a really nice amount of product actually still on and able to drink water. Let me show you. Okay, the water test. See how it's around the bottle rim? But let me zoom in now. See how it's still there? 
So, and, and you don't even have like bottle film, like, oh, that's where the circle was and the water passed through. So I, I do like this suede formula. I really, I really do. Even though it's red on here, it's still on my lips. I, yeah, I like it. Like it, like it. All right, now I have to, I'll take that off and I have two more shades. Remember I told you I was on the hunt for something that would be close to uh, Truffle Rain. And these are two NYX products that are a soft matte lip creams. One is in Dubai and one is in Berlin. And they're pretty close, um, as you can see from here. Um, so these cost $5.99. And the suede uh, collection is priced at like $6.99. Available through Ulta or you can get it on the ground at Target and things like that. Alright, so I'll swatch these. First one up, first one up is Dubai, right? And I'll swatch that here. Okay, so this is Dubai, right? So Dubai going right across, and this is the soft matte. Um, so it really does have like a, a lighter formula. Goes on feeling like creamy, almost like just soft butter. <laughs> All right, it feels like you're putting creamy something on your lips. And the reason I'm going in, because this particular tube that I got was a little flaky, and that I'm just zooming in, and that it felt more oily than product use. But I'm just putting it on so you can really see the color. This is what it comes up as. And this is Dubai. Now I'll show you what it looks like when it dries down, but it doesn't give you like a hard dry formula. So I'll be back when it's dry. And again, this is Dubai. So I've had this on for a couple of minutes. Let me just zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. And this is Dubai. Creamy. So, I mean, this is pretty much as matte as it gets, but... I do like this formula. Feels nice and light on the lips. Still feels creamy. Um, yeah. So Dubai. It reminds me, and I haven't purchased one yet, but the Tarte uh, lip paints that they have. I think they're calling them paints uh, that they have out now. That never really, from what I've swatched in store, they never seem to like actually dry down. But they have that creamy kind of formula. These feel kind of like this even though my Berlin which I'm about to swatch for you I feel like this dries down more than Dubai so maybe that oily Dubai one was a slightly uh, interesting formula <laughs> all right be back so this is Dubai here I'm going to put Berlin right on top of it right here okay so you can see they're somewhat close but they are different Right, so this is Berlin, this is Dubai. Dubai actually here is looking a little like uh, this guy to me from uh, Teddy from the lingerie line, but certainly not identical. And this one does not have that gray kind of undertone, but just for a second, those swatches look similar. But now as I'm moving my hand around, they do not. But anyway, this is Berlin, more of a chocolate, a milk chocolate. So I'll zoom in and apply Berlin. And I can, oh, see, you see that color even more now. I can even tell you that um, the edge control from Cantu is going to make a liar out of me because my edges are still down. It didn't turn into oil. And I can tell you that that is only because I already, since this morning, had the um, Myel Organics on holding it down. That's, that's why. So this is our uh, Berlin. And I'll let that um, just kind of do its thing and settle a bit. But, um, yeah, so the edges are still in place. But that's that's my L Organics. It's just riding the coattails of something I already had there. So if you do want to see a full review where I use just that on the edges, <laughs> then you'll see what I'm talking about. So let me know if you are interested in seeing that. So this is Berlin. Very creamy and lovely. And, again, this is the type of formula that I could just wipe right off. Yeah, <laughs> so it's gone. Um, I will now just swatch the last one, which will be the Maybelline uh, Berry Boost. And here we go. Just This is, again, just so you can see what the shade looks like on me. Yeah. 
and it stays just as glossy. Who tested this that they said it could be called a matte? Oh, and good. Remember, I swatched it on my hand a long time ago. Look at that. See how everything else has dried down? Even this one, which I told you when you press your lips together, then you really see that it has dried down. Even if initially it looks like it has that kind of gloss still on top, it dries down. You can see on my hand because I didn't put any tissue or anything over it. It's not as shiny as it was initially, so that has dried down. But check out the Maybelline matte. Look at that just as glossy as it was when I first put it on and that's what happens on the lips as well it stays just as glossy but again I'm just putting this on for reference so that you can see what the shade looks like on my lips and I'll zoom in a little bit if you want to see it closer that's it just that glossy so if you're just buying this for the color and you want a glossy lip color and you like the shade boom but if you're doing this for a matte do not get this one and I got it from Target I forgot what the price was but I put it on Instagram so, uh, the day that I bought it which was I think that was even back in December or maybe early January so I've had this for some time just didn't come on here to say anything about it but I just want to save some people some money in case you thought this was an inexpensive matte that you could get from you know off the ground but yeah no or on the ground <laughs> in a store near you all right so there we go oh the kiss that I put on the hand let's see how easy it is to rid myself of these see it still takes some and I am wiping hard. Still takes some power to get that off. And this is the suede and cherry skies. And you can still kind of see the lip print here and here. So anyway, that's all that I have for what's new this week. Much longer than I intended it to be. I'm going to stop starting these videos by saying this is going to be a short one. Because obviously I end up uh, talking on Den. So anyway, I have more videos to prepare for you. I'm going to get started with the next one right now. See you soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, subscribing, and commenting. Bye.